Hello, I'm Anthony Griffin, and I am here with Miki Uchida of Uprhythm here in Tokyo. Miki, how are you doing today? I'm doing super, Anthony. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. So for everyone listening, Miki and I have worked together in several different capacities over the years through mainly the coaching side of my business. So she is an expert in startups, and I thought I would bring her here to share her knowledge with you. So, Mickey, why don't you tell everybody about yourself and about your company before we get started? Okay, thank you, Anthony. Sure. And uh, uh, to tell the truth, I have multiple hats, so I will try to make it shorter and simple, concise. So, hi, everyone. I am Mickey, a found, currently a founder, at, founder of my HR startup, Upprism. So, the Upprism is a company that tries to fill the gap between international community and local Japanese people here in Japan. And uh, in addition to Aprism, I have multiple heads and, uh, and, and I was involved in many startup related activities uh, such as mentor, such as mentor roles at Garage Class Taipei Taiwan and German Accelerator and also, I am doing a vice president at the X Future, uh, located in the Silicon Valley. Okay. And so what, today, I, lo I love today's topic. Yes, yes. And what I like about your career is you have a lot of startup experience, but you also gain, you know, experience in major Japanese companies too. So I yeah. think, you know, everyone's going to enjoy what you have to say today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot to mention. I was, I was, I worked for for big Japanese corporations for years. Yeah, that, I think that makes my career career journey a little interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's uh, jump into our discussion. So we're going to talk about startups. And I'd like to ask, you know, how would you describe the current startup scene in Japan? Is, is now a good time to launch a startup in Japan? Okay, that's a good, that's a great question. So, so your first question is the current state of of Japan to start a thing. So think about 20 years ago. <laughs> if you want to start up, you have to be ready for everything, all kinds of hardships. First of all, your family, your friends, yeah, should have against, should have been like against what you are going to do. And uh, meaning you have a lot of oppositions. And um, and uh, before you have to be ready even for bankruptcy and you you have to be mentally ready to lose everything so that intimidated many people to start up and the uh, good thing that we that uh, currently going on is the bar so thanks to the thanks to the entrepreneurs and the governments and the stakeholders work so the, the bar to start up your own business became much lower. And uh, I feel that now it's just, uh, it became one of, you, one of the career choices that you can take. So that I'm very happy about that. Okay, so what about timing? Is now a good time to launch a startup in Japan? That By now, I mean 20. Yeah, uh, 2021. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, okay. That that's also a very, very interesting question. And if I if you allow me to to tweak that question, to restate the question a little bit, I would like to re restate the question uh, as follows. So is now a good time to la yeah, is now yeah. So what is a good time for for startups to launch? So if we, if that if if if, we, if it is that question if it's that question, I think the start or startup what it what it matters to the startup is the question, the problem that you are you 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 want to solve by your startup. So. The, if you if you take a look at the overall market in 2021, Japanese economy is stagnating, and many yeah many restaurants and bars 
and hospitality business are having very hard, having very tough time. However, so however, for some startup, if the question, if the problem that a startup wants to solve regarding teleworking, regarding teleworking or office communications, and the tele uh, and the, to improve the communication of distance of the work from home work home environment uh, this even this time will be a great time to do business okay so you're saying that you know maybe we shouldn't focus so much on the external environment but mm -hmm. instead focus on our the demand of our idea yeah, or our product exactly exactly so when you do a startup so first the demand and also the readiness readiness of the market Okay. A lot. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, then let me ask another question. So what actionable advice do you have for someone who wants to la launch a startup? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very broad. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. Actionable, actionable advice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So if you want to... Yeah, okay, I will tell you something. So this is a question. This is the issue that, yeah, this is the biggest issue for me to start up my, yeah, to start, start up my business, which is to find the right, right problem to solve. And uh, it is, uh, it is a world, it's a world's agenda for you, for the future entrepreneurs to spare your time on. So yeah, having a right program that only only you can solve or you can solve the best on okay. Earth. Okay, so I have to ask, how do we figure out a, a problem that we can solve? How do we learn what we are good at? <laughs> okay, that's what that's exactly what I I struggled. Okay. So how did yeah, you so overcome that? Uh, in my case, so I know that I am a person who are willing to make to solve a big problem, big big problem that can give the big give the uh, give a big impact to the society. So I was, and uh, of course you know who you are, what you can, what kind of problem that you can solve by yourself and with your with your colleagues. So. In the beginning, so so I was my agenda is always about Japan. Okay. And I, I will I started finding the problems surrounding the stagnation of Japanese economy and try to find what I can do. And uh, some at times I was thinking about okay, maybe we may uh, maybe empowering women maybe a good good way to solve solve that problem and uh, i turned out that uh, i didn't have a good fit with the problem and uh, and uh, try one by one try and you 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 can list up some hypotheses of, of the big of the big 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 questions that you think you can solve and uh, test one but verify if you can solve the question uh, on if you can if you can give impact to the community and then i checked one by one and someday yeah someday in someday in 2019 i found labor shortage issue of engineers and then i immediately come up i can solve this question All right. so what you're saying is basically we need to invest a lot of time in trying new things and doing experiments to figure out what we want exactly to do. exactly yeah so the key the key here is to define to define a scope of questions that you would like to solve okay. broadly got it got yeah it. and and list up list up the potential smaller potential smaller scale problems okay yeah all right well, yeah no it sounds good it sounds good 
Now, let me ask another question. Recently, people have been asking me not only about founding a startup, but working for a startup. You know, a great way to learn about starting a business is to work for one. So what advice do you have for people who want to work at a Japanese startup? Although, so my my opinion is, if you wanna try, just try, just try. <laughs> just try. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, nowadays, 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 yeah, working, yeah, it's a, uh, it's about, it's all about what kind of problem that you like to solve in your life. Okay. And uh, working for either working for a startup or working for a large size of an organization is uh, only, only that, yeah those those choices are only one of only a style to mm -hmm. solve solve your question. Mm -hmm. So a big company has big company of course has their 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 benefits virtue, and uh, so does startups. So that so do startups. Okay. Well, to, yeah. to be more specific, uh, especially maybe for younger people with less experience, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, should they approach startups directly and say, "Here's my resume"? Should they work with a recruiter? Should they mm -hmm. make a, uh, a project and share that? Um, what what approach is, is best if if someone wants to work at a startup? Okay. So my advice. My advice, uh, no business at all. So I am, uh, I'm doing, I'm still doing recruiting job, but uh, this is my honest advice for those who, who like to work for startups. Okay. So Google it. <laughs> Google it, okay. <laughs> Google right. it, Google it, Google it, and find a startup that you think that you would like to work for. Okay. And apply directly. Apply directly, okay. Yes, apply yeah. directly. Very, very honest advice considering yes. you are in the HR industry. Yes, because <laughs> yeah. uh, because I because I know that I know that any startup founders do not want to pay us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, excellent advice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, so the, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that the startup founders will appreciate your application, direct application, the best. Wow! Wow! What, what, so they what? will, they will like, they will need somebody like me to to make it efficient. Okay. Okay. To make the process efficient, but uh, they they are always welcome that direct applications. Okay. Got it. Got it. Well, you know, thank you for that candid advice. You know, that's yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, because yeah. I'm I'm I by myself is an entrepreneur. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. All right, well, let's let's uh, wrap up with one question so we can look at all sides of the startup scene. And that question is, you know, what challenges are facing Japan's startup ecosystem and how can these challenges be overcome? Okay, very good. Mm, very good and toughest questions Ooh, today. Okay. Uh, okay. First, in my okay, the first point that I would like to share is diversity. Okay, wow. Yeah, why diversity matters to Japanese startups is expandability of your business. Okay. So Japan is not a small market, but a global market is much bigger, much, much bigger. So to penetrate into a global market, you need diversity in your team yeah. and uh, learn about the market that you like to penetrate into. And here, finding, finding the diversity talent is the most, the most difficult job, one of the most difficult jobs. And, uh, and the diversification of the channel is another challenge. So the to penetrate into the international market. So the channel diversification is a, is a must have. And uh, being in Japan, do it, do it, yeah, being in Japan, it's very difficult yeah. to, do it, to do that. Yeah. That is a challenge. 
and how how can you know Japanese startups overcome this challenge? Yeah, so they are trying. So the the fact that the, the yeah, I I know some cases. So I know a company who is hiring who is hiring a Japanese people, hiring a Japanese a Japanese businessman uh, who are outside of who are located who is located outside of Japan. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> yes. Wow. And uh, and the other guy. That that I know is because yeah, even even in Japan, even even though even though that pe that person is is in Japan, so you can find a person who is well connected to the overseas market. Okay, now yeah. I have to ask since you mentioned hiring a Japanese person in another country, does this challenge of diversity does this mean that there are going to be more opportunities for foreign workers yeah i think so yeah. actually actually i yeah some of my clients some of our clients hires the international talents Ooh. international engineers because of that reason okay Got you know it. a company wants to if the company wants to wants to penetrate into let's say south south asia they will they would like to hire people from south asian countries yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Is there any other thing you'd like to address or anything that we haven't talked about that you would like to bring up? Uh, so far, so good. Otherwise, I can spend more than more than a, more than a year, more than a, more than, a, more than, a, more than an hour. It yeah, can, it will never stop. It absolutely. will be never stopping. I will stop. It's a great time to stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, we could talk about this forever. Well, before we go, you know, if someone is interested in getting in touch with you, um, how would you like to be contacted? Would you like to share your website or social media? I see you have an image on your screen yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I think the LinkedIn is the best way to me. Yeah. Best way to get connected with me. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I'll make sure to put your details in the description for this video, wherever it's shared. And um, thank you so much for your time and sharing uh, your advice with everyone watching. Yeah, thank you, Anthony, for inviting me.